Hello, my name is Mühenkat and welcome to a video where I would like to compare the Stage of Ages to the Fall set, also known as the Harvest Barn set. Both of these are available in the current event, the Fall event, so I think a natural question quite a few people will have is which one of these is better? Which one should I go for for my city? So in this video I would like to compare these and go over when each of these are good, and hopefully by doing that will allow you to make up your own mind on which is best for you. So before I go into all the details, and don't worry, I know there are a lot of numbers on the screen, might be quite confusing, I will go over it in detail. But before I do that, let me give a quick summary of when each of these options are good. So the main benefit of the stage of ages is that you get a lot of raw stats. So you get a lot more, usually per daily special, compared to the full set. On the flip side, the full set gives a lot more for the space it takes up. It is more efficient. So that's the main benefit of each. There is also a secondary benefit to each. For example, the stage of ages, in addition to giving attack, it also gives some very nice forge points. So giving a bit of both of these can be very nice for a lot of players. Uh, now there are some false set uh, designs that uh, do give a mix of both that I will go over later on. But yeah, that's one of the benefits of the stage of ages. Uh, one of the secondary benefits of the false set is that it gives the same amount of attack in every age. What this means is that in practice, in lower ages, it's a lot better uh, than practically every other option, including the stage of ages. And I'll go over the details in a moment. So again, the main benefit of the stage of ages is that you get a lot quickly. The main benefit of the fall set is that you get a lot more for the size it takes up. All right, let's dig into the numbers. First of all, let's go over the stage of ages. Uh, it is four by four, so 16 tiles big. And also, uh, we usually count two roads for it. In case you don't know, the way roads are usually counted is that we take the shortest side, which is two here, and we divide it by two. The logic here is that this needs four roads, but those four roads are also shared by other buildings on the other side. So yeah, we divide it by two because each road is connected to two buildings usually. So two roads, 18 tiles in total if we include roads. Uh, another benefit actually of the state of ages is that it gives population, uh, which uh, for some is uh, trivial, not important, but for others can be quite nice. It gives four forge points, which is 0 0.22 per tile, if we include the roads. Uh, that isn't actually that good in terms of efficiency. This is roughly the same as the Shrine of Knowledge, uh, which is at 0 0.2, if we include roads for that as well. Uh, so roughly the same, and nowadays the final knowledge is quite outdated. Uh, we usually like to have at least 0 0.5 force points per tile, uh, but yeah, ideally more as well. So 0 0.22 is not that good. Uh, the Sage of Ages also gives 15 goods of the previous age. That is 0 0.83 per tile, which is quite all right. And then we have the attack boost. The state of ages gives between 7 and 19% attack boost depending on age. And this is actually quite a big range, meaning that in Iron Age, for example, it only gives 7%, which is only 0 0.39 attack per tile, which is quite poor. Here I have a few examples, uh, five examples. Other ages do have different values, so if you want a full list, you can check the wiki page uh, where you can see exactly what the building gives in your specific age. Anyways, it goes all the way up to 19% in space age Jupiter Moon, which is 1.06 attack per tile if we include the roads. And even this is not uh, that great, actually. Uh, it's not bad uh, by any means, but ideally you do at least want one attack per tile, which this one uh, does give, uh, but as you'll see, the full set can give quite a lot more for the space. So in the note itself, these uh, values here, uh, up to 1.06 uh, attack per tile and 0 0.22 forge point per tile, they're not actually that great. The attack boost is all right, but the forge point is quite poor. And that's the main downside of the Sage of Ages, as I've already mentioned it doesn't really give a lot for the size it takes up. So let's start comparing it to the full set. First of all, I'll talk a little bit about uh, Forgepoint designs, then Goods designs, 
uh, then some attack designs, and then uh, later on I will also uh, compare it to some compromise designs for the full set where you get both attack and uh, forge points. All right, so let's compare it to this uh, design here. The, what I like to call the classic or standard forge point designs. This is a very simple design, five pieces. Uh, you do need some roads connected to the sunflower here, at the bottom here. Uh, but other than that, it doesn't need any roads. It gives 13 forge points, which is 0 0.58 forge points per tile, which is quite a lot higher than the 0 0.22 uh, per tile that you get from the stage of ages. Uh, now, here you can also see a second set of numbers uh, behind this line here. Uh, those are the equivalent numbers for the stage of ages, uh, if you get uh, the same number of those as pieces here. So here you need five uh, selection kits for the full set, uh, and the numbers here are what you can get for five stage of ages. So for each of these uh, layouts, I've also included numbers for what you would get for the same number of stage of ages. And this, I think, illustrates the main difference quite well. So even though the uh, full set here is much more efficient when it comes to forge points, you do get less for the same number of daily specials. So here, 13 compared to 20 if you got the stage of ages. But again, 20, oh, uh, those are at 0 0.22 at uh, forge points per tile, which is quite a bit lower than what you get from the full set. Uh, in terms of goods, uh, here the stage of ages actually beats out both in raw numbers, or definitely in terms of raw numbers, uh, but also in terms of efficiency. So for goods, the stage of ages is uh, a bit better. Uh, that said, the goods are the uh, one age below you, which some might uh, see as a benefit, some might not. And also the goods buildings, uh, which is the autumn here, autumn scarecrow, that automatically updates with your age. So when you age up, that automatically ages up, which can be quite a big benefit especially early on, uh, where you, so you don't have to use one-up kits or renovation kits to get current age goods. Uh, and you can't get current age goods from the state of ages anyways. So yeah, that's uh, some ups and downs with both of these uh, in terms of the goods. I'll just leave it up to you which one is best, but you do get considerably more from the state of ages. And then we come to attack. So even this uh, small forge point uh, focus layout here, it does give some attack. It gives 12 attack from the wheat field up here, which is 0 0.53 uh, attack per tile, which is quite poor. However, if we compare it to the lower ages of the stage of ages, it's actually better or com comparable to that. So in lower ages, even the forge point focus designs, or especially this one, actually gives better attack uh, than the stage of ages. And that's yeah, as I mentioned, one of the upsides with the full set is that it gives the same amount of attack in every age. So especially in lower ages, uh, the state of ages is considerably worse. So that's the first full uh, set, uh, forge point set. The second one is uh, quite similar, except you extend it. Uh, I have gone over all these designs in other videos as well. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. This one uh, takes up 21 tiles, uh, including one and a half uh, uh, roads, uh, tiles for the roads, that is 22 and a half, whereas the equivalent number of stage of ages would take up 90 tiles. So that is four times the number of tiles. So that's the downside of the stage of ages compared to the, to the full set. It takes up a lot more uh, space in your city. All right, moving on to this layout here. Don't really have to say too much about it. Uh, this one is even more efficient when it comes to forge point than the other one. Again, the stage of ages will give more but again, a lot less efficient. Here, the state of ages, or the equivalent number of state of ages, uh, are four and a half, uh, or 4.2 times bigger than the full set. So a lot bigger. And for that, you only get an additional 10 forge points. Uh, in terms of attack, here you do get a lot more from the state of ages. You still only have this one wheat field for this forge point layout. Uh, whereas for each state of age, you do get uh, attack. So here, the state of ages is considerably better. Moving on, we have two equivalent uh, goods designs, uh, the same as the two forge point designs I just showed. These two goods designs swap out the uh, autumn scarecrow, uh, 
uh, with the begonia. So swap out uh, which one of those have uh, two instead of one. Here you can see that you do get, uh, even though you don't get as many goods, it is much more efficient in terms of the goods it gives. So this layout here, it gives uh, 30 goods, which is 1.33 goods per tile compared to 0 0.83 for the for, uh, stage of ages. So that's considerably better. It also gives decent amount of forge points, not as much as the uh, forge point focus designs, but still a more efficiency or higher efficiency than the state of ages at 0 0.36 forge point per tile compared to 0 0.22 for the stage of ages. So even though it doesn't give as much, it does give more for the size it takes up. And it's the same story for the extended uh, goods design. I don't really feel like I have to talk about that. So let's move on to attack designs. So the two smallest attack designs are the uh, seven piece designs. These two here you can definitely get other designs as well, but uh, these are the ones I mainly want to talk about here. So starting with attack first, this layout here gives 48 attack, which is 1.37 attack per tile which even in the higher age is considerably more than the stage of ages gives. Uh, and if you look at the lowest ages, uh, this design actually gives roughly the same amount of raw attack as well. So the stage of ages in Iron Age, for example, uh, for seven pieces, which is what you need here, uh, only gives 49% attack whereas this gives 48 attacks, so roughly the same. So especially in lower ages, you get a lot more for the size, a lot more per tile, uh, over three times as much as in Iron Age, but you also get roughly the same in terms of the raw numbers as well. In higher ages, of course, um, state of ages will give more raw uh, attack. Uh, in the highest stage, for example, it gives 133% attack, which is a lot more than the 48 uh, that this uh, full set uh, gives but it also takes up 3.6 times more space in your city. So again, we see the state of ages does give more uh, for the number of daily specials, but the fall set is much more efficient, uses the space much better. And also this does not require any roads. In addition, you also get some defense, which I know not everybody values as high as attack, that's natural, but you do get a decent amount, 16 for this example, which is 0 0.46 per tile. If we include both of these, we get 1.83 uh, combined attack per tile, uh, which is not quite, but almost two times what you get from the sta uh, state of ages in the max age. The downside of this, of course, is that you don't get as much forge points. You hardly get any, in fact, you get two forge points, which is only 0 0.06 forge points per tile. Uh, and if you compare it to the equivalent number of stage of ages, you would get 28. And also, this does not give any goods. Stage of ages would give 105. So, yeah, here you can definitely see that if you go all out for attack with the fall set, you definitely uh, lose out on forge points and goods, which is another reason why you might consider the stage of ages. Uh, it's the same story here for uh, defense. I don't think I need to go through the numbers. You can see them for yourself if you are interested, uh, but it's practically the same as here. Higher efficiency, uh, but you do get lower numbers. Uh, now, if you get one more piece from these, what you can do is that you can add an autumn scarecrow. By doing that, uh, you get the same amount of attack and defense from these, but you get an additional 15 goods from the autumn scarecrow and you also get an additional uh, three forge points from the begonia bench. So this here, for example, it still gives 48 attack, uh, which here is 1.26 attack per tile. And even that is better than the highest you can get from state of ages. This one though gives five forge points instead of two, which is 0 0.13 per tile. That is still lower than the 0 0.22 per tile you get from the stage of ages, but it is quite a bit closer to the uh, value of the stage of ages. It also gives some nice goods, but again here also uh, lower uh, than the stage of ages, roughly half the efficiency compared to the stage of ages. But it is a small step closer and without losing or sacrificing a lot of attack efficiency, or you get the same amount of attack here, and you don't really lose much out on efficiency especially considering this is much easier to place in your city compared to this, for example. Uh, and again, no roads required. And for defense, it is the same story. Don't uh, really need to go over it here as well. Uh, but yeah, it's the same story. You get some additional forge points and goods. So yeah, here we have some examples of forge point 
goods and attack focus designs. And here we can see that the stage of ages gives more per daily special, pretty much in every case. But the foil set is much more efficient. And even if one of the values might be better than the stage of ages, uh, the others are usually not as good as the stage of ages. So if you focus all out on attack, you sacrifice forge points. If you focus all out on forge points or goods, you sacrifice attack and so on. So let's talk a little bit about some compromise options where you focus both on attack and forge points. All right, so here we have six examples. Uh, these two examples here, uh, I would consider more as extensions to already existing buildings. Uh, you probably can get both of these from scratch, uh, although I probably wouldn't go for these from scratch, uh, which I'll go over in a moment. Uh, here you have an example of kind of compromise between all three values, uh, forge points, attack and goods. Uh, and down here you have some that are more focused on forge point and attack. Uh, and this one also a little bit on all three forge points, goods and attack. So let's go over these in turn. So this first option here you might notice is an extension of the standard forge point designs. So here you have the standard forge point one. And to that you have added some wheat fields and ogres on both sides for additional attack. Uh, this one, you do need one road for the sunflower here, uh, but I think it's quite easy to fit one here. Uh, I would go with one road going into the sunflower here and then have buildings on both sides of that. I think that would be quite easy to fit into your city. And that's what I've included here. So I have included one road here. Uh, and from this design you get 60 attack. Uh, which is 1.11 uh, attack per tile. So here you can see that this is higher than even the highest uh, you get from stage of ages. Uh, you do also get 16 defense. So if you include that, you have 1.41 uh, combined attack per tile, which is definitely higher. But this one also gives uh, some higher forge point efficiency than the stage of ages. So from this layout here, you get 13 forge points, which is 0 0.44, uh, 24, sorry, uh, forge points per tile, which is higher than what we get from the stage of ages. So here you have an example that has higher efficiency, both for attack and forge points, uh, especially if you uh, include a combined attack per tile, it's definitely higher. You do still get less for than the number of daily specials. The equivalent number of stage of ages do take up 3.7 times more space, but for that you do get uh, considerably more, especially if you are in higher ages. For example, forge points, almost uh, or a bit over three times as much in fact, but again, over three times the number of space. One spot where this is worse than the stage of ages, both in efficiency and raw number, is goods. So this one only gives 15 goods, which is 0 0.28 per tile, while the stage of ages gives 165, so quite a bit more. All right, so that's the first uh, compromise. Uh, the second one here, it's not really something I would go or build from scratch, but I've included it to illustrate a point. Uh, so you might notice that this is a standard attack layout with this module here uh, combined on top of it. So this, you'll notice is the same as you have here in the full set, uh, in the forge point set. So whenever you have a wheat field like this exposed, if you want to add additional forge points, you can add modules like this. So for example, you can add one on top here. You could add one below here as well, for example. And this illustrates another point of the full set. It's very versatile and you can easily expand it with either forge points or uh, attack. So yeah, if we look at this here in total, it's quite an awkward shape. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as I mentioned, uh, but let's just look at it for fun regardless. So this one gives 48 attack, which is 0 0.94 attack per tile. So that's actually below what you get from the highest stages of the stage of ages. It does also have defense. So if you include that, the combined efficiency is higher at 1.25 compared to 1.06, uh, but it does have higher forge points. So it gives 15 forge points, which is 0 0.29 per tile, which is higher than the 0 0.22 you get from stage of ages. Uh, it doesn't give uh, that much, uh, that many more goods, in fact, it still only gives 15 from the Autumn Scarecrow here. Uh, so yeah, that's not as good, uh, <laughs> definitely not as good as the stage of ages. All right, so I don't really want to dwell on that. So let's move on to this here. 
I have mentioned this in a previous video. I called it the ABBA design. Might be obvious why. ABBA. I don't know. I thought it was fun. A fun name. Uh, this one is kind of a compromise between all three values, uh, attack, forge points, and goods. So if you look at the attack values here, uh, if you are only focusing on attack, it's not actually that great at 0 0.57. If you include defense, it goes uh, to 1.14 combined attack um, per tile, which is slightly higher than the state radius. But to be honest, I'm not sure if I would recommend this. Uh, I think it's better to focus uh, on attack from the full set and get uh, defense from uh, Sentinel Outposts, for example. Anyways, uh, this one uh, gives 15 foot points and it is a little bit, little bit smaller than these two options. So that is actually 0 0.36 foot points per tile, which is definitely uh, higher than the stage of ages here. And this also gives a good amount of goods. So 45 in total, which is 1.07 per tile. So here we finally have a design that is higher uh, in terms of goods uh, than the stage of ages. So this uh, layout here, it has better forge points and goods, and considering how you count it, uh, higher uh, attack boost as well. All right, uh, let's move on to what I would probably go for, especially if you're starting from scratch and want a combination of attack and forge points. So the simplest uh, way uh, with the five uh, pieces is something like this. So here you get a nice mix of everything. Looking at attack, you get 24 attack, which is 1.09 attack per tile. So already it's higher than the stage of ages. You also get eight defense, which is 0 0.36. If you combine those, that's 1.45 combined attack per tile, which is definitely higher than the stage of ages. This one gives five forge points, which for the size means it gives 0 0.23 forge points per tile. So roughly the same as the stage of ages when it comes to forge points. And when it comes to goods, uh, here it is a little bit worse. It gives 15 goods, which is 0 0.68 goods per tile. Not that far, far away from the stage of ages, uh, but definitely a lot less than what you can get for the same number of pieces. In terms of size, this one is actually 4.1 times smaller than the same number of stage of ages, so quite a bit smaller. Now, if you get more pieces, which you likely will, you can extend this. Uh, the first version, uh, I'll actually jump a little bit, might be something like this, where you simply double up. So you simply get one more module uh, and you can really place it wherever you want. Uh, you can place it next to it or just somewhere else. Uh, but placing it next to it, we'll notice that this one, well, it's uh, exactly the same stats or the same, same efficiency, uh, except that it is uh, doubled in terms of the uh, numbers. Now this one in the middle here, uh, it's similar except that you're able to swap out one of the Autumn Scarecrows uh, with a Begonia Bench. So this one gives less uh, goods, but it does give more forge points. So looking at this, uh, we have the same amount of attack and, uh, and defense, uh, or doubled uh, this, same amount as this to the other side. Uh, still same efficiency, higher than the stage of ages, but looking at forge points, we now get 15. So instead of doubling to 10, this is triple what you get here. You have three Begonia Benches. So 15 forge points for 0 0.34 forge points per tile. So this one is not only considerably better in terms of efficiency compared to the stage of ages uh, for attack boost, but also for forge points. Uh, it does lack in goods, which might be a downside. Uh, an alternative to this could be having three autumn scarecrows instead and one begonia instead of this way if you want more goods for example uh, but yeah here you do have an example and i think this is the best example of a compromise between forge points and uh, attack so that's all the designs or layouts i want to compare it to so let me try to again summarize kind of what i summarized in the beginning as well so the state of ages the main benefit is that it gives a lot more per daily special. You get a lot more stats real quickly. However, it takes up a lot more space, so the efficiency is a lot worse than the full set. Uh, this is especially true if your main focus is on one stat or the other. For example, if you go all out on attack, 
the efficiency of the fault set is much better. Similarly, if you go all out on Forgepoint, the efficiency of the fault set is much better than the state of ages, but there are also compromise designs for the fault set where both attack and forge points are more efficient than the stage of ages. So again, stage of ages gives more per daily special, which might be better in a developing city, but in a developing city, it will also give less attack because it's you're probably not in the highest ages yet. So especially in lower ages, the fall set gives a lot better efficiency. All right, now which one you should go for? That is completely up to you. And it really depends on what you want and how much space you have in your city. I would say that for every advanced player, I recommend going for the fall set. You probably don't have a lot of space. So I recommend going for the more efficient option. If you are in a developing city, it's a little bit hard to say. Uh, I think one of the kind of uh, unsung heroes of the state of ages is that it also gives population, which can be quite a big deal early on. But on the flip side, early on, it doesn't give a lot of attack for the size. So here, I'm kind of 50-50. Personally, I think I'm going for the fall set on my brand new world, but I definitely see room for the stage of ages as well. And if you are somewhere in the middle of the ages, for example, in future era, and you do have a decent amount of space here, the efficiency of the stage of ages, even though it's not good for uh, attack, it's not that bad. Uh, and if you do have a lot of space, it might be worth just getting more raw stats compared to the higher efficiency and focus on efficiency later on. So again, it's up to you. My personal preference is the fall set most of the time, but there is definitely room for the state of ages and it's definitely not wrong to go for that over the fall set. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, feel free to share it with your friends or your guildmates. And before I end this video, let me thank my Patreons for their support. I would like to thank Homestar, Fort Prefect, Lorden, Rockin' Robin, Kim Kelly, Rolf the Eighth, PQ the Goat, Dan Tumnad, JT, The Rev, Berg B, Hugo Count von Count, Jan Fredriksen, Shooter Dremes, Filda, Rush, Susan Weiss, Megarock, Rago, Eric, Merton Emrys, Henrik Dagerklebe, Mattia, Option the Obsessed, Ref, Kim, Adaril, Mike, Wolfboy, Flavius Belisarius, and Atomic. Thanks a lot for your support. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the future.